Hi, I'm Jerry Seiki, Autoimmune Technical Trainer for BioRad Laboratories. So what do you do when your ANA IFA screen is positive? Ever wonder how antibody concentration in an ANA IFA is measured? In an ANA IFA test, the antibody concentration is measured semi-quantitatively as a titer. Now let's take a look and see how that's done. Remember, there must be a clearly discernible pattern in the nucleus of the interface cell with enough fluorescence to call the specimen positive. So if your ANA IFA is positive at the screening dilution, then the next step is to measure the antibody concentration or titer. Typically, to determine the titer, you perform a two-fold serial dilution of the patient's serum. As the antibody is diluted out, the intensity of the staining decreases. The highest dilution of serum that has a 1 plus or greater staining is called the endpoint titer. Using an endpoint control can help standardize reading ANA IFAs. It is not uncommon for patients to have more than one antibody or to have some antibodies produce a complex staining pattern which can appear as a mixed pattern. If characteristics of more than one pattern are seen, titering the specimens can help determine the ANA IFA pattern. With mixed patterns, the endpoint titer for each pattern is reported. A tip when reading IFA titer is to read from the highest dilution, which has the lowest concentration, to the lowest dilution. The higher dilution will have less fluorescence and your eyes will be less likely to be influenced by the brighter fluorescence seen at the lower dilution. And this will enable you to determine a more accurate endpoint titer. Thanks for watching and please visit our YouTube channel and see other videos in the Autoimmunity IFA video series. BioRad product information and contact info are in the comments below. Please let us know what you think and what topics you'd like to see in the future.